Banter Podcast with Colin Jettis. What about you? I want you to get yourself and your soul together. This man will make your liver quiver. This man will make your bladder splatter. Let's all welcome the world's godfather of soul. Colin Jettis. Uh, it's Geddes, actually. Ladies and gentlemen, feast your fucking eyes. Wrap your eyes around this specimen that we have here. <laughs> this is the first uh, podcast in our new set. You're mm. our first guest here, Dave. Oh, man, it's a pleasure. Dave um, Elliott. Well, here we are. Well, this is... I this thought is, I had a crowd <laughs> noise. <I don't>. <laughs> <laughs> no, but this is, this is very... This is just like being in a gaff. A gaff. Mm-hmm. It, that's what I was trying to go for. It's very... You get, nice. people, you get people over that uh, table there, mm-hmm. and it's very like, you know, under yeah. the spotlight, like, what have you done? Recently, yeah. I was doing a podcast Getting grilled with uh, Kieran the, the other day. He was chatting to me about something, and then he was in the middle of a bit, and then he goes, "So, Dave, do you have much on at the minute?" Then I was like, well, "How have you segued from what we were talking about into just interview, man?" It was very, it was amusing to me. I just laughed, and he was like, "So, uh, very oh yeah, like he, did he talk for you know like about twenty minutes about who did the score for a certain movie, yes. and then just take a fucking hard left?" Yeah, and the... it was such a swerve that I just had laugh in his face, like it was ridiculous. <laughs> And that's the thing about it, about a table thing. Cross the hands on. So tell me, do you have much on at the minute, or what are you working on? Yeah. I'm not pissing myself right now because of that segue. <laughs> but apart from that, well, do you have you much time. on right now? Well, no, you know, most, <laughs> the, most of the time just hanging about and looking after kids, living at home, that kind of shit. Are you doing another show? Yeah, I'm doing a wee, wee courthouse number just. Oh wow, banger! So it's just the way. Are you the prince of banger now? Yeah, the king, the king, king. of the down. Yeah, king. Who's the prince of friend. banger? I mean, I don't know, because I have fucking girls, my, I'm a sissy dick, so I don't even have fucking any airs, you know, I'm fucking pussy cock hair, like, <laughs> that's what they call it, yeah, yeah, sissy dick Elliot. If, yeah. if it was like Game of Thrones time, you know, you'd be fucking, yeah, threatening your wife. You'd have witches just, bring me fucking, a boy. Yeah, you'd have witches looking at my dick being going, there's something wrong with it, sire. <laughs> yeah. It only spawns the vagina. <laughs> 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 But you know what? I love it. It's great, no? And then Too much estrogen, <laughs> big man. But then the irony is that clearly I have too much testosterone because I'm bald as fuck. No, that's, like, yeah, that's right. I tell people too. Too, yeah, much, too much Too much testosterone makes you bald. What you're doing, you're, you're a fucking physique guy like myself at the minute and you're fucking <laughs> in on it. Do you ever have those moments where back, like you're, you're, you're normal life calling and then you go in and you're in fucking gym and you're being the real you? Yeah. I was doing bicep curls the other day and I was listening just to protein the, farts and listening mist. to Pearl Jam in the garage just fucking yeah. Ka- Catherine come in to use the fucking I feel a loud you have fun yeah pissing on the boy hands is just screaming ah. and she was in the use of tumble <laughs> dryer she's going what way are you getting on I'm like this is how I need to get on to be Zen Davy in the house you know I need to come out here and just fucking cry about you that. can't hear yourself with the headphones in oh no but even blow <laughs> <laughs> the worst is strawberry things. protein farts because I, I have my weights in my garage and nice. a wee window in the garage but then Jane next door has a, an adjacent garage just to the wee window but it's all cobwebs and you fucking pots and on you think she's never in the garage there's day I was just doing you know fucking intense hammer curls and you're just in oh, a yeah. vest because yeah. you wouldn't wear a vest at the gym but seeing your own house you're fucking oh, oh yeah and she just came in the garage for a few pots and I was fucking spitting at the mouth oh, 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 oh. I haven't looked her in the eye since, but it was definitely an aggressive. Would she be? Would Jean be into that? Like, would you see that and be like, "Oh, let me linger in this garage for a wee second and see what this man's up to"? No, the blinds just straight down, <laughs> and I'm just, just, <laughs> just look her in the eye, Jean. <laughs> <laughs> see you later. Yeah, but yeah, this is pay per view, Jean. Yeah, and then another thing is again, you think you're in there and you're quiet, but you're in your garage and you fuck garage door, and Catherine and the kids come back. And she's like, "What are you doing there?" I'm like, what do you mean? She goes. A lot of grunting and panting going on in there, and you know we can fully hear it in the street. And I was like, ah, all right, now fuck, go, go, yeah, go, yeah. Ah, yeah curling my dick off. Yeah, straight away. I haven't got a white in the garage yet. Yet? No, no, not yet. Why not? That's almost Cold. what it's for. It's chilly, almost like you yeah. know, get it made into like a utility room or something. Then we're in business. You know, yeah. set up like this. <laughs> but you know, you're blazing everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but so, I hate coming off a double dryer. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh tumble dryer is that's a, that's a good job to have on the winter, like. You know, get in there, heat you up in your garage. We're looking for appliances at the minute with our extension. Mm-hmm. Nice. The things have come on leaps and bounds. And what are you at, where, where are you at with your extension at the minute? What's the... the well, we can't do anything until the doors go in, but they're going in next week. So at the minute, the back of our house is fully open. Like, we, we go to bed at night with what was the kitchen door closed, and that's all our protection against all burglars. So I've been on edge, you know what I mean? Yeah. I've got a military-grade flashlight at the side of the bed. Yeah. I stay naked. 
uh-huh. just in case anyone bursts in, and then I just run at them with the fucking strobe. See, cock out. I had a, I had a, a fucking realization about my balls recently that they're not what they used to be. They're not tall anymore. So we were watching a documentary about like cr- burglars, and crimes, and people breaking into the, the houses and all. And it's like apparently now burglars aren't what they used to be. They don't come out in the wee pajamas or the stripes of the swag bag. They're fucking heartless bastards. And they go in and just take whatever they can find in your house to use as a weapon against you. So a thing now they'll do, they'll come in and they'll fucking boil the kettle. Mm. And they'll walk around. If you jump out, fucking have a cup of tea, you can't ah, you know, and they get you. So then our weapon we have, right as you would break in the back door, be your fucking thing of knives. So I just have a, and then they'd have to come upstairs. So I now I know my balls are fucking no elasticity. They're hanging low. If I'd have to come to the guy, he'd have a knife. My balls would be the first thing he'd get. So now I, have to go to bed and pass just in, like between a, in between a banister, just yeah. grabs it, yanks it out. I wonder, see, could you set up decoys? You know, like you know, like when you're on, <laughs> you know when you're on holiday somewhere, people are like take an empty yeah. wallet and then be like, "Give me your money, bastard!" And yeah. you give them an empty wallet. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's in your sock. Uh, I wonder, could you just have like an IKEA knife block and he takes one? It's just a handle. He's like, "Yeah, motherfucker." That would be brilliant if you put one of the wee uh, like comedy, you know, knives in, with, like go into the handle. Yeah, and he just stabbing you, going, "Ha ha ha!" Yeah. You're fully naked still. <laughs> Come on, Jane! <laughs> and you just get it fucking harder and harder. <laughs> Do it again. Yeah. Our kettle's that shite. I, you know, I'd be lying there and it would just be like, go oh, fucking, just be like, <laughs> we're boiling for fucking eight minutes. Be like, fucking, here we go. Like, what, are, what are you fucking doing, man? He just hits you with a thing. I seen that <sighs> on Top Boy. Guy puts a load of sugar in the water. And yeah. And throws it on on a guy. That's right. And, and no shit, man. Have you seen the, have you seen the latest series? No, the, I've mm-hmm. literally just seen the first one. Uh, Summer House or... Top boy. Top boy. Top boy. Top boy. You, you need fam, yeah? I went down a wormhole on TikTok the other day of top boy behavior. Nice. And like, I legit, like on the streets? Yeah, like all these fucking... Uh, it started with a video going like, these are all these UK drillers uh-huh. who are actually in prison. Shaggers? Like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> actually in prison or dead for like yeah. shanking boys. Oh. And then I just went into a fucking wormhole of like police arresting like a 12-year-old who has a fucking machete in his pocket about that size. Yeah. Nasty that's times. Cool. Just have a good old scrap, yeah. boys. No, the good old day, like I think that's you know, do you use a phrase from top boys? Pussy O in it. Do yeah. you use weapons? Just go on fist. Yeah. Like proper traditional fucking fair. Just be biffing each other. I, I, that's what you want. Like proper old school digging matches. Yeah. He murked me oh with a big fucking overhand, right? It's just like, you know, like leaving the house, wallet, keys, and then be like twenty eight inch sword. Yeah, I was wondering where you're going. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> twenty eight inch. Just so we fucking Darth Maul double ender. <laughs> fucking have some of that. <laughs> You ever been struck with dildo? Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah, you could do damage and that that would give you some serious fucking beef on the streets. You know, see that fam over there knock me out with a dildo, innit? God <laughs> you like, yeah. with a double ender, man. Yeah, shit, man. You know, piggy blinders with the, the yeah. fucking blades in the hat. You take out a big purple floppy cock. Yeah, the floppy hammer on the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine what a fucking shit dildo. A dildo with a hammer on the end. The risk would be you'd likely to fucking claw half your own head yeah. off. <laughs> yeah. leave. Let's go, bro. Just swing it back and it sticks in your head. <laughs> you look up in fucking, was a family, I didn't watch much Family Guy, but there was oh. one episode where like, <laughs> Stewie gets a bit of glass in his head and he goes, and yeah. it, it looks fine. And he turns around and it's about that long. <laughs> I mean, that would definitely, unorthodox weapons for the, for the man <laughs> That's what we're talking. You know, I've thought about it before, like, you know, protecting your home. I'm like, what, uh-huh. what could I have beside the bed? We have an aluminium baseball bat that Isn't sits in the fucking walk-in closet thing. XL bullies are not discount. Get a few of those lads. Yeah. They go with the dogs with no ears. Can't hear nothing. But if you startle them, they'll fucking eat your bollocks. Did you see Did you see that thing online when they were like at the protest going like, you know, protesting against banning those uh-huh. XL bullies? And people were just like, that's, a, that's exactly the type of people I would expect to be there. Yeah. Yeah. Just fucking drug dealers, basically. But they, they, like... I, I think that the rule on a dog should be your neck should be bigger than your skull. See if you have a big skull and no ears, problem. You know, so have you ever seen a big dog the Bordeaux? They're like fucking, is our neck not bigger than our heads? <laughs> Are they? I think I've weep. I'm like a gumba. I weep. You know? Yeah. Uh, what I do know for a fact is... <laughs> You're like, the, I'd love a neck. <laughs> the width around my thigh is longer than my leg. <laughs> True <laughs> Barsha, see, that's the worst thing about, well, it's not the worst thing about getting married, but the, one of the worst things is when you get the suit measured and you're like, yeah. so what are the trousers there? What are, and I was like, I don't know, my fucking trousers are usually about 30, 32 or something. They're like, well, it's 28, mate. 
I know I was getting mine done. I was like, you know, a wee bit nervous. I was yeah. like, oh, guys measuring around my chest. And I was like, this is probably this is probably the biggest one you feel ever have to make in here. You yeah. know, I feel a little sorry for myself. <laughs> and the guy was like, nah, we had some cunt in last week, fat bastard. <laughs> you know, say like a fucking 68 inch trousers or something. I was like, God damn. So that's what they said. I mean, they're like, oh, no, you wee short legs and a big, a big enough waist there. You know, you're like, Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> I'm like, oh, that's great, Bounder. Yeah. You know, I love that. <laughs> How do you like yeah. it? We can make yeah. three suits out of this. Watch it, don't slip. <laughs> oh, fuck off. A hard thing to manage when you're a wide man. White yeah. man, like yeah. me and you, a rude two boy. white boys, two white boys, is uh, trying to trying to get that leg to shoe ratio good. Yeah, you know, because you don't want, you know, the trouser has to fit here, and then if it if it stays the same girth, yeah, then it's just eating up all your shoe like yeah, that. You're, you're like, like Simon Kyle. You're like a fucking Avril Lavigne fan, the noughties. Yeah, you know, just looking out of the bottom, flared <laughs> shoes. That's nah, not. I just I just do not have long legs, and it's it's it's, it's something I never knew until I got my wedding suit, and now it's been pointed out to me. You never knew that. I, I just thought I was. You know, just a lanky regular. fucking basketball player. But then, like when I was in, uh, like when I was sitting in a, at a seat and work or something, you know, you lower your seat up and down. Anyone would sat my seat, be like fucking falling down, be like your seat's part of a low, and I'd be like, ah, no, just. Don't. And I realised now I have a freaky long upper body and fucking twenty eight inch legs. This is the problem? So I have to sit like lower so my long dwarf body can see the computer screen. She's got that long torso. Yeah, long torso, freaky short. You'd be legs. a good swimmer. Nah, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can't do that. They, me- they did Phelps' uh, measurements. He's free. You know, he's, like his arms are like he's he's got like eight m- feet or something. Massive torso. Like he'll, he'll stand beside someone the same height. Yeah, and then he'll sit in the seat and he'll be like fucking way above them on the that's, seat. That's what I'd be like because he's got he's just got like flippers at the back. He's got those big feet, the big hands, and all too. I've like I. Only thing I'm like a fucking you know one of those Hulk ships you'd send prisoners to Australia. Yeah. Like in the water, the belly just lowers down. It's just like like a big manatee just yeah. floating in the water. I can float all day, like, but I can't see swimming. Nah, not much I can pace. swim pretty good. Oh, there's not much pace. I tried to race my my five year old the other day in the pool. She did me. Yeah, you know, but she's she's like good lean athlete build, whereas I'm this the Hulk ship just. She might fill out later on. Yeah, we're trying to avoid that though. She got the, she might just get the big broad back. I will get her to be doing a bent over rose yeah. on her sixth birthday in the garage jeans something. Happy something birthday to you. Got you a hex bar. Yeah. Like, oh, they're unbelievable. You got yours custom, didn't you? Your Not custom. Bar. Maureen's dad just didn't want to pay money for one and made one. And how heavy is the actual apparatus? 40k. It's 40k itself. That's impressive before you're even starting. 40k deadlift in a hex bar? No, but like on the bar itself, like usually they're about 20. Yeah. You know, so that's already double the weight. Yeah. That's right. That's right. And then he made it so the plate is like an inch bigger than the other plates. Mm-hmm. So you don't have to fucking lift it to load the plates on. It just it just slides on with a wee bit of wee bit of gap. Yes, that's good. Makes you feel that's some that's some manly I, shit. I, I love see now from being the biggest fattest cunt that I ever lived. The training. <laughs> Look at the passion in his face. Like, Look at the passion in his face. I'm the fattest cunt. Yeah, ever I know my mom said it to me. She goes, don't David, you're this. the fattest cunt no. ever lived. <laughs> True, true. Her words were she goes to me, Listen, now don't take us the wrong way, which is a cue for me to go, I'm going to be offended here, aren't I? Real yeah. quick, you just tighten your fist. You are the fattest person I've ever seen, and that would have been enough. <laughs> but she went with my eyes, you know, like so. I don't know what she meant by that. Whether <laughs> in a dream, I and, I and the first thing I said to her was, Well, no, you're spoofing, so you brought me on holiday to Florida, so you're talking about your shite pipe, like, but okay, I get, I get your sentiment. And she was like, Afterwards, she's like, Oh. You know, I know you're a bit offended when I said that. I only meant that, you know, in, in a good way. That, you know, I don't want you to have a heart attack. Like, uh, like yeah, I get it. And and that sort of was a wee bit of a trigger. But then, you know, she's hardly, you know, she's hardly stage ready herself, let's say. Yeah. But, you know. Not match fit. Yeah. So, I mean, at the pinch of salt, then I looked back at the footage of me when I did the wall garden. And I went, yeah, she's right. Disgusting. As, and then literally I did that show on the Sunday. Looked at a few of the photos. Or did that show on a Saturday. Looked at the photos on Sunday. Straight down the Everlast on Monday. Memberships, please. You know, straight in there. And that's been the... See if, see if your mum really wanted to help you. Mm-hmm. She would go, I'm going to take your kids for six months. Yes. And pay your bills for six months. And you just fucking do whatever you have to do. Yeah. Turkey. <laughs> whatever whatever it is. You yeah. you just focus. Just come back like Jason Momoa. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> David you know Momoa. What, see if I went to Turkey, came back, got all the liposuction, the teeth, the hair, and said, like, make me look like Jason Momoa. I'd just look like a Bollywood star. Yeah. You know? <laughs> 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 Every old second of the day. <laughs> so dramatic in Bollywood, isn't it? Yeah, I saw so much. They're like going to kiss each other, but it looks like they're attacking each other. Yeah, oh, but I just wouldn't look at. But it, but it would be if that's what you need. Like you need to just. There was a guy. There was a guy on the internet there, Irish fell, mm-hmm. and he just disappeared. 
and everyone was like, where is this guy? And he'd moved himself to like Mallorca or something and just cycled and lost like a bucket of weight and then came back like, how's it going, you scunts? Yeah. See, that's, skinny. that's what you need. I think you need a big, re I mean, people's lives get in the way. That's what yeah, you need. You need yeah. a fucking reset. Prison. Then, but the, see, that Prison was good. That, that was the thing. I, th I I sort of have in my, I've been watching the World's Toughest Prisons on Netflix. Oh, yeah. Like, that's a good show. But I watched it some time ago. I wouldn't be against that life. I mean, you go in, you're sitting by yourself, your TV, PlayStation or whatever. You get to go and work out. You can hang out with your mates, have a bit of scran. Yeah. Back to the room. You yeah. Know. It's all right. Yeah. Cutting wee naked chicks out of a fucking... Oh, yeah. Like, that's not, the thing. Out of a nuts magazine, those, putting on the wall. Those guys are pussy. Oh, they all brass. Oh, no. I said, come on, boys. I'd be going in here going, fucking here. Page three, fellas. Let's go. Daily can sport. Can they, get, they obviously can't get free range on the internet, these boys in prison. I'd say they? not, no. I no? Think, I think some privileges, but I don't know whether could, you could be in talking uh, to the governor, being like, listen, can you take that wee... Uh, Age restriction off for a couple of hours, you know, over a couple of minutes, if you know what I'm saying. Take that firewall down, big lad. There you go, and I'd be, be fucking need to be firing some bleach on my wall, if you know what I mean, when I'm yeah, finished with that. I, yeah. you, you know, <laughs> blurting everywhere. You'd, you'd never leave the room. Nah. And you'd walk in and go, what are you? None. No. Do you know, like Branson, when, he, when he's about to get in the fight with the prison guards? Oh, yeah, and he's putting. Uh, he's all Tom Hardy's wee cock, and yeah. he's all greased up. Oh, and he's like, what's he say? What do you want, Charlie? <laughs> what have you got? You know? Pull me ass, not in my ass, you can't. Yeah. <laughs> you fucking can't. <laughs> That'd be me, just covered me on jizz. Uh, <laughs> Where's lunch? <laughs> but what then, have you got? <laughs> <laughs> but that's it. Like, the, the one we watched last time was Finland. And yeah. Just like, they're all about restorative justice. They don't really. What's that mean? It's just the boys just hanging out with your mates, like, like this, in a, in a room like this, all day, and you can come and go to your room as you please. As long as you do your wee chores and all. If I ended yep. up in prison, God forbid, mm -hmm. I'd be judgy in prison. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd be like, all right, boys, I'd be like, why am I, why am I in here with this gun? Yeah. Have a, di have a different one for the, the fucking nonsense yeah. or something. I know yeah. they kind of do, but. but no, like, I'd like to I'd be like, this guy killed a guy. Yeah. I, I mean, only like, did a bit of cyber fraud. <sighs> yeah. The fuck? That's it. You, you get, you, you, I, would, I would want to be in and I'd be like, you need to have, you need to get in and set yourself. And I'd be like, they're going to look at me and go, he's a big lad, so I need to be harder than I am. I'm not a hard guy really at all, but I have to go in there and pretend to be. I get this, can you give me a couple of teardrops there? She'd say, no. Yeah. And I flirt with them and all. Yeah. And they'd be terrified if it's just going to bomb them. Like Elton John, a bow selector. Ready for a bomb? <laughs> <laughs> Looking bombed. <laughs> How long before, up. you know, there would just be a dude in a wig and you'd be like, well, what else I'm going to be doing in here? But you know what? Like, you go through, I mean, certainly as a married man, barring spells, but even before, like when you're saying, you, you, you don't just be like, I haven't got the buck in three weeks. Where's fucking Matthew, my bro? I said, well, in here, stick away, on your foot, and, you know. True enough. Cool, you know? I bet if you had 25 years in front of you. You know what? I still think I would be all right with pulling the wire myself. It's done me, done me no harm in the past. Yeah. You know, I just think, and then. Old faithful. But what happens if you're like your man, Raphael Rowe, who hosts the show? He was like, I did 12 years for a crime I didn't commit and blah, blah, blah. Imagine you do that and you get exonerated and you're like, ah, fuck. I just fucking bucked Stephen there for the last two weeks yeah. and I'm getting out now. <laughs> yeah, just when you're getting the hang of it in prison. Yeah. But just then. Clap, just clapping some guy's cheeks. But then. <clears throat> and then they're like, you're out in the morning. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Sorry, Stephen. Oh, no. <laughs> but like you see, like, you ever watch Chris Stefano's podcast? I have done, yeah. You know TT Jerry? Oh, yeah, yeah. A couple of those fellas kicking about. Who knows? That actual boob job, like? Yeah, like, you don't know. I see you're a big tit man. Yes. Yeah, I mean, in prison. David like, Elliott, known tit man. Known to the tit man. The tit you man. got pipe man. No, you got tit man. Aye. Yeah. I'll be tit man. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> aye, so you could be filled with tits. Yeah. Yeah. Like, if, you, if they glor tit glory holes, I'd be interested in that. <laughs> Just a big fat fella shave his chest and pop two titties through the hole. I'd be honest. Like, what, are the, what is the point of a fucking tit glory hole? Do you just walk up and be like, that's nice. No, no, you just have a feel with these titties. Yeah. Do the work. You know, you make good money out of tit glory <laughs> Do the work. Do the work. Yeah, just get yourself. I seen some Japanese thing like that. It was like a game show or something. <laughs> and the guy had to like guess his wife's tits or something and there was just like a bunch of people sticking their tits through holes <laughs> them Japanese are nuts yeah like that's what <coughs> I told you about my game show idea that I'd love to make but I don't think I can find anyone to buy it money box what's that money box right it's it's taken inspiration from a few existing game shows and kind of amalgamated into one deal or no deal it's a bit similar to that no but the money's big so it's not going to be on the dark web right so you got three money boxes one's got 10 million quid in it 
One's got one million quid, one's got no quid. Empty, right? <laughs> so that's it. Three boxes, and all you have to do I've is... I've got no quid. All you have to do is one challenge, and then once you do the challenge, you walk up a flight of steps, pick your money box, and Bob's your uncle, right? So for talk's sake, three, three, three walls, holes in them, three dicks, your dad's, your brother's, and a random dude. Right. Pick a dick, suck it, and then walk up the steps and get a money box. So... Best case scenario, you suck around the guy's cock for 10 million quid. Yeah. Worst scenario, you suck your dad's dick for no quid. Yeah, just, you just do it. And that's why what Moneybox wants to test the human mind. I just, I'd like to see the, just the, the presenter signing off at the end of that show. But the annoying thing Shout was. Shout out to Brian. He <laughs> got no quid <laughs> and a mouthful of his dad's jizz. But then Join us a, next week. Like there's another one on Moneybox too, the next level. You get like three masseuse tables, holes in them. Yeah. Da, the milking brother. table. Yep. And then you do the same thing again. Yeah. He wasn't brought up the milking tables in a porn chat there recently. Someone I didn't expect. The Woodsy would be the sort that you go at. No, I, go, no I, I think it was Tim. <laughs> Big Tim. Tim likes the milking Just tables. out of nowhere, it was like, oh, what about the milking tables? And everyone was like, what? Milk? I didn't so know they called milking tables. Oh, you pop the, you pop the fella through. Nah, you don't put the balls through, do you? Do you think I'll be comfortable? No. Lying belly down, just being like, Pfft. No, no. I think beds were designed perfectly. For what you need them for. Sleeping and bucking. There's an odd sensation with being yanked downwards. Never had it. That's what I'm saying. No. Like most of the most yeah. of the most of the friction's going back. For the most part. Yeah, no, I don't know. I mean, listen, there's something for Patreon. Milking tables, yeah. see how it goes. Look up the episode Yanked Downwards. Yeah. I like Yankee candles. Uh, for no quid. For no quid. But then you could do you could do it if it's not sexual if you want to. You know what I'd like to see? Uh, do you remember like I remember when we were in uni and there was like a firewall thing? on the hall's internet mm -hmm. they wouldn't let you on porn and some guy was like I found this website and they like film a girl's face while uh -huh. she's like fingering herself so it's just a girl's face just being like ah. <laughs> and this was enough for these fucking incels wow now what Twitter? I'd like to see is the show's called Above the, t above the Table okay and the camera <laughs> the camera's on the guy above the milking table yeah <laughs> so there's just like a GoPro either side of his head while he's lying there going <laughs> what you they know? should do stick your man you know Francis Bourgeois get from that camera work on him <laughs> who the fuck you, know, you know the train guy oh it's yeah like, <laughs> have that. amazing <laughs> he's been yanked down with <laughs> that, the milk and table stick I love when they did a bit of a profile on that guy and he was like I used to be a bit of a man dem yeah <laughs> I was a bit of a road man and now like, you're a faker and you're like well he's I mean he's probably not the level that he's making out to be in that because he's a proper fucking loser <laughs> I don't know. There's certain. I mean, it's like it's one of those things where you go. I wish I was excited, as excited about anything as he is yeah. about fucking trains. He's up a sidewards, yeah. pocket boner over I mean, he's a fucking train, right, hasn't he? He's earned a wee bit of cachet out of being a fucking weirdo. He, he did a video there. Hope he ends up like your man at a subway. Nonce, nonce. I teach him. He's got asexual vibes. Yeah. He'd yeah. be getting her to dress up like a conductor and all. Oh. Can you put this coat on, please? Oh, speaking of conductors, you know you can't call a fat conductor a fat conductor anymore. It's insulting to people like me. That's what I call myself at a buffet. Fat conductor. <laughs> the fat conductor is here. <laughs> Move oh, over. Buffets. There, don't get me started. Um, I was uh, at a shop the other day, mm -hmm. and the the level of Halloween decoration that they had outside. Do you see it? I put it on my story. Oh, was that the one you you're saying you're smack at, boy? Oh, excessive. Look at this. And when you say a shop, was it just like a, a spar? Spa? Was that a Euro spar? And I, near, I genuinely was looking at my phone. I looked up. I was like, ah, get the fuck. And would they have more inside? Yeah, that a wit. <laughs> they had a witch inside. <laughs> That's like a fucking like a tank of gas you'd put on a barbecue. Yeah, gotta stay hydrated. You know. Where do you get that? I ordered it online because I needed three liters. Because mm. I wasn't, I wasn't getting my three liters in. I wasn't losing weight. Now, to be fair, I was eating fucking twenty five Snickers a day too. But you know, I'm trying to watch what I'm putting into me and I keep the old. Uh, I just don't, I want to live past forty. You know, I think that's a yeah. goal I have now. That yeah. I know I was going to make a, a forty year old bucket like a forty before forty bucket list. That's a good idea. And see, what, see what I could. I stole the idea off Arm Khan. Yeah, he had like a five hundred part bucket list thing he wanted to. To pull off, but I might do I might do forty before forty. What would be some of the things you would go on? Because this is like you live a you live a unique life, like you know. Not a lot of people do have done the things you've done, or so you'd you'd have to have quite a 
an interesting selection for 44-40. Like, you've done, like, doing the Odyssey, things like that people wouldn't do, you know what I mean? Met some people. Did it the crazy. other day, sure. See? He said, it's just, like, it's nothing. So what would be on your 40, before 40, you'd be like a fucking <coughs> uh, To be honest, there'd probably be a lot of travel things. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go, like, hunting. I'd like, like to go hunt something, murder the fuck out of it, and like, like, eat it. All right, okay, I was going to say, like, hostile. I'd be like, I'd be into that. Like hunt a person, hunting people, and all. hunt a wee Korean woman, cut their wee, kill. No, not the. I see what happened to that fella's eye in hostel film. Not for me, not for me. Didn't like that at all. Uh -huh. Nah, I. You know, I just squeeze the head like you know your man at Game of Thrones. Yeah, oh, do me fucking. Just do bicep curls with fellas. Yeah. What's on a bucket list? What stuff would you like to do? I'd like, I'd like to go on a make another sort of Top Gear style vlog in Vietnam. Mm -hmm. I'd like to go do that. I'd like to go hunting. Where are some spots? I've never been surfing. No, do you know what I mean? I went surfing on my stag do. I'm not built for the board. No? I'm built for floating on the sea, that's it. But I went to got on it, couldn't stand, fell off, the wave caught it and clocked me in the head, gave me CTE and I was like, I'll just go to a bar. You yeah. guys work away. Like, you know, it was not a fun time. It's and probably then, like skiing where you think, sure, you just plop off in the water yeah. or you just fall into this powdery snow and then it's mm -hmm. packed to no, the death. But then like, you fall out and then you were like, where's my board? Where the fuck are this? <laughs> <laughs> Paralyzed now. Don't tie them a foot. Yeah. You fucking oh, idiot. But it, yeah, I didn't, didn't love it. I thought it would be, like you say, easier and more fun than it was. I had a, I had a rude awakening last time I went uh, bodyboarding mm -hmm. where someone was like, here, use this one. And it was, I, I might as well have that book. Yeah. It was like, it was, it, I was wider and bigger and heavier than the thing. Yeah. No, I just, not, like, I, there's certain things I think it's cool to admit. It's just not for me. Like roller coasters. Now, I'm scared of heights, but also the, th the contraption doesn't close over me. So I'm like, you know what? It's not for me. Certain heights, nah, you know, but I would go to Japan. That's something I like on my bucket list. <laughs> you know, stick out on that. I'd love to go to Japan. I'd love to go to Japan. I like I like everything about Japan. But Catherine's like, nah, not for me. And I'm like, well, cool. I'll go with No, you. I think do you know what? There's someone there's, else. You see all this all this trend at the minute, like, oh, this is a boy dinner and this is a girl dinner. Yeah. There's boy there's boys' trips. Yeah. Japan's a boys' trip. Yeah. Because they're gonna go like now have you seen that shop in Japan? It's like a fucking it's like the size of Castle Court, but it's just the camera shop. It's like fuck. It's like a city just for camera shot. Yeah, I mean these boys have themselves pulled sideways. Like I like I like Japanese grub. I like the, <laughs> I like the I like the efficiency of them too. Like they're good. They're good people. Nice clean. Mount Fuji's beautiful. The Zumo. I'd love to be in watch some Zumo. The Zumo the is that how you pronounce it? The Zumo. Yeah. Here, me and you. If there's anyone cut out for a bit of Zumo, it's me and yeah. you. We might have no, talked about that before. I was doing some stuff. Are you going to do this charity boxing? I'm the I'm the chief lead commentator, mate. That's as far as I go. Fight so. me. Nope, see his teeth, too expensive to fix already as they are, let alone without being in the head. Wear a gum shield. You know, that doesn't work. Never wore a gum shield Shane was texting me and he's like, would you fight this person, would you fight mm -hmm. this person? And I just kept writing back, I'll fight anybody. And then... Conor McGregor, here, I'll fucking fight anyone. You better bring them out, fucking knock the cards yeah. out. I'll fight anyone until uh, there's someone I don't like the look of and then I'll be yeah. like, do you know what, I might have a gig on that day. Yeah. But, but I, like, I mean, you should fight. Yeah. We're a bit, you know. You know, but I nice think. Nice size. You know, we'll be able to keep it friendly. I think, you know, people have a fight. Um, I wouldn't mind I, if you smacked me in the head. Yeah, but I, I just don't want to get my teeth hit. You know? But it comes to you. Should they wear that full mask? Yeah. It's we'll just, just do tit shots. It's yeah, like the glory that. hole. With we'll just fucking the tit glory hole. speed bag each other's titties. I mean, I'm for that. Like, you know. <laughs> then by then, you know, you'll probably be fucking a few weight classes below. I'll be, you know, XL heavier professional bodybuilder like by then we'll not be able to open weight move you know yeah oh that's that's what there should be like the old pride days yeah. open weight just straight up i would do that i would, who would i like to fight if it was open weight? i like to i give shane a go like if it was open weight that'd be good fun and um, i'd love to see that william oh, i'd love to punch william because i know if you do it could be fatal that'd be it, it'd be like immense power if you fought william be like you remember in wrestling when they they used to have a bunch of like dwarfs in there, like Dink and Doink. Yes. <laughs> Dink and Doink were great. I think. Uh, yeah. What a name. I don't know which one was Doink or Dink. Doink was the big one. Dink was the wee one now. <laughs> it's wee Dink there. <laughs> wee Dink. Dink the clown. And then what was great, there was a, a guy, Hornswoggle. Who oh, was of course. A, who was Finley's wee mate, but they, they didn't give him a character name for like the first few weeks. And he just got called a little bastard. <laughs> and he came out, JRB, I said, little bastard, I said, little bastard. I was so disrespectful. Just a guy, just a dwarf guy. We call a little bastard. Great. Little bastard. Would you not do it? Would you not fight it? Nah, because I. I just, just, it'd be amazing if you just fucking Superman the shirt. Yeah. And you had the boxing, the boxing vest under it and you just jump in the ring. But you know what? I, I like doing the commentary. It's fun being there watching it and not having to have a sore head. It's nice, you know. Were you drinking um, at that? No. No, I was uh, I was just 
But afterwards, that's one thing I would do this this year. I would stay out afterwards. I just bounced on home, like, and I would go out and go for pints. Like, it was good crack afterwards. It was, it was, it was good, good crack. But I could, I just didn't like all the, sh the all the bollocks that went along with it too. I was like, some people get on, do a solid ten minutes, and then worry about giving it that. You know what I mean? Oh, right, okay. Fuck up, well, I ain't got this. Are you, mate? Fucking get an open spot, and then you know, see what you're doing. You <laughs> fucking mighty bastard, you know. You're starting to but, shit talk already, but yeah, you know, listen. If you're going to be good at fighting, you better be good at fucking comedy too. And exactly. And like, it's comedian's com boxing. It's not just a guy who comes to gigs and <laughs> shows up and has a pint or two. Nah, you fucking, you be funny. You know? That is the problem. They're trying to make matchups. Get a plate slot and then, you know, worry about <laughs> fucking knocking someone out. You're boring. <laughs> Anyhow. Do you want to mention any names? <laughs> no, but it means fucking figure it out. <laughs> that's not too many. Yeah, that's not too many. <laughs> but, uh, but no, it was, it was a good spectacle and it was, I was kind of asked to do it last minute sort of thing, the commentary. And I was like, ah, sure, I should be there watching anyway. I may as well do something. And then it was just, it, it was a lot of fun. I've never had fear like it whenever um, Dan had said something to me about, oh, uh, would you come down and do a bit of commentating? Mm -hmm. And I was like, aye. And then I didn't hear from him. And then I was sitting on the balcony by myself drinking a lot of pints. Yeah. And a lot, you know, shout out, a lot of people bought me pints. Yes. So I didn't move for a long time. Ladies and gentlemen, let me just pause the podcast for a second to tell you about our good friends at manscaped.com. It's very important to keep yourself groomed, my guys, especially in the depths of winter, because people aren't expecting their pants to be taken off, but sometimes, sometimes their pants are taken off, and you can be caught off guard in the winter time, or as Americans call it, fall, you know? Manscaped have sent through a read here, I'm going to read it to you. Fall is here. <laughs> And I want to take a second to talk about self-care. Guys, have a bit of you time and uh, shave your nut bag. Uh, when it comes to making an impression, proper grooming is essential to looking and feeling your best when you walk into a room. That's why our sponsors, Manscaped, are committed to helping men around the world walk and talk with some swagger. How are you supposed to swagger along with hairy nuts? You know? Gotta be smooth betwixt your legs. Walk with some swagger this season and the best grooming tools in the market. Um, join the 9 million men around the world who trust Manscaped and enjoy this offer. 20% off plus free shipping with the code GEMBAN1 at manscaped.com. Don't neglect your beautiful self and get right this fall slash winter. Uh, you know the crack guys. They've given me a whole pile of information about all their products here. They've got the beard hedger, the, the beard trimmer thing. Uh, what they have there is a performance package 4.0. Let's let's skip to the skip to the good bit. Get that performance package 4.0. It's got the lawnmower 4.0 in there. Uh, it's got crop preserver, groin deodorant for them smelly nuts. Uh, there's moisturizers in there. It's got it all. It's got boxers in there. That's what you do. Don't be don't be shopping around for any particular products. Just get that package where they throw it all in there for you. And then you go to the website, manscaped.com, and then you use the code GEMBAM1, and you get 20% off plus free shipping. Uh, once again, Manscaped supports the General Banter podcast. So much they provided an exclusive offer for our listeners. Get 20% off plus free shipping. I just said that, didn't I? Use the code GEMBAM1 at manscaped.com, get 20% off. Get it all. I'll tell you something. You can shave your nuts at what, once a month? If you're really forcing it out, if you got that five o'clock shadow in your nuts, but the beard trimmer is legit. That's how I end up with this perfect Craig David style beard is using that beard hedger. It's phenomenal. Go check them out, manscaped.com. Cheers guys for all the cash and support. Guys, we're going to do a quick shout out to our fabulous sponsor, the Calm App. Stressful deadlines. Long hours and the pressures of juggling family and social life can take a toll on your mental health. You're telling me, guys. With Calm, you can get in-the-moment relief from everyday sources of stress and anxiety so you can show up feeling refreshed and ready to tackle any challenge. If you don't know what Calm is, my guys, Calm is the number one app for sleep and meditation, giving you the power to calm your mind and change your life. Calm recognizes that everyone faces unique challenges in their daily lives, that mental health needs differ from person to person, and the time for meditation may vary. And since self-practices are so deeply personal, Calm strives to provide content that caters 
to your preferences and needs. And someone is drilling somewhere near here. So I'm not calm. I need some in the moment devices to help lower my blood pressure. Uh, their meditations range from focuses of anxiety and stress, relaxation and focus to building habits and taking care of your physical well-being. They have sleep stories with hundreds of titles to choose from, including sleep meditations, calming music that will have you drifting off to dreamland quickly and naturally. They even have expert-led talks on topics such as tips for overcoming stress and anxiety, handling grief, improving self-esteem, caring for relationships, and more. The Calm app puts the tools you need to feel better in your pocket. If you go to calm.com slash banter, you'll get a special offer of 40% off of your Calm premium subscription, and new content is added every week. There you go, my guys. One of the important things they mentioned there, what did it say? In the moment. Tools to help calm your mind. They do, they've got breathing, breathing things in there. Breathing instructionals. I've used that on a flight one time. You know, people's children crying. The plane's wobbling a bit weird. You know, things are kicking off. Someone's about to crack up over their Pringles. You know, I open these Pringles and they're all smashed, you know. And I just put that, put those headphones in and just did that little, they've got a little circle and it goes boom and you breathe in. Keep breathing in until it goes bong. You hold it and then it goes bong and you release the breath. And before, before you know it, I, was, I had landed in Mexico. I did it for nine hours straight. For listeners of the show, Calm is offering an exclusive offer of 40% off your Calm premium subscription at calm.com slash banter. That's pretty ludicrous uh, saving there, 40% off. Go to calm.com slash banter, 40% off unlimited access to Calm's entire library. That's calm.com slash banter. Thanks, guys. Enjoy the pod. And then at the break or something, he's like, you coming down now? And I was like, what? You still want that to happen? <laughs> I guess not safe now. There may be a wee slip of tongue here. Me fucking know. chinned as well. I tell you what though, I have a bucket list thing I was just thinking about there actually made me think what I would love to do right now is Oktoberfest. Oh, oh I've, have you not done an Oktoberfest? No, not like I want to go to Munich. Yeah. And I want to I want to wear later hosen. I want to see the big steins and the big tits and I want to yeah. fucking... I was going to uh, say, that's you all over there. That's just me and my... Eat, when when you close your eyes and fantasize, it's a big milky yeah. German and just and fucking... Beer in her titties. Eating schnitzels. Oh, oh. what a time. Schnittfest. Like, uh, <laughs> but I just love the idea. You know, sitting on everybody just being out of control on big benches. Uh, I'd have to be at the end of the bench so it didn't break. Just <laughs> and not be a good time. Do you see those videos where they like open Oktoberfest and everyone's, it's like Black Friday, everyone uh -huh. just sprints oh. in to, to claim a table? Yeah, so that's, I think that's what we're doing. Well, so, wait to hear this. Yeah. There was, uh, this might be class. No, actually, it, do you know what? It's not able to happen. So I sort of can talk about it. But they were going to do... Uh, Shut up, Dave. He's dying over. Uh, we was going to do... Lavery's were going to do the Christmas market, a com like a comedy ticketed uh -huh. gig right, on okay. the big sort of Oktoberfest. In the 10th? Yeah. It can't happen now, but it would have been fucking... It would have been It would have been a disaster. It would have yeah, been an absolute shit show of a gig, but yeah. it would have been fun to, to get the... Like, that's what we need to get our Christmas do book for this year, gangs. Last year was tremendous. Yeah. You get that booked again. Get everybody on a route. Get going. On, on a beer pub a, crawl, not a yeah, route thinking about it. But I, mm -hmm. there, there was, was there not a route planned? And then last year we were just like, yeah. let's just go to the, this place. Because, uh, yeah, we all, by the time we got the pugs, we got rode off. And we're like, well, can we arse walking anywhere else now? But I think. <laughs> that was me mainly. I, I was yeah. behind that movement. But it, but it was, yeah, it was good time. You know, and I, I just enjoyed. Because it's, it's great. Like, I love it when we do the Lavery's Christmas do. Every year is always great crack. But I like there not being any kind of pressure of a gig. It was nice to just because then you're just like they're just mates having nothing. Nothing things. ruins the cry. Like uh, at that SSE show the other night, like everyone was coming down, all Maureen's family and everything. <coughs> I'm coughing now, and they were mm -hmm. fucking in the Heineken box, getting free booze and living it up and all. And I'm out the back, <laughs> shitting my pants. Yeah, I guess it's fucking great crack, guys. Yeah, yeah. And they all come down half pissed, like I've great no health. And yeah. I'm just like See, packing my bag. That's a I think that's the worst thing about it. A gig that you're doing whenever like the family and all like treating it like it's an event oh, and you're like well give me let me do this wee thing that everyone's here to see first and then i know there was on. there was a bit of an argument the other day because i was like what they were like what time are you going up and i was like i'll be going up in the daytime like yeah you know to set everything up and uh they were trying to work out like lifts and there was too many people to go in the van and 
who and, yeah. and there were there was never an option where someone would just be like, I'll you know I'll just drive. Yeah. Nobody was gonna be like yeah, I'll yeah. not drink. Yeah. Oh no. Everybody was like, no, we all have to drink. Um. So how the fuck are we getting up and back? And I was like, well, I'm going to work. Yeah. So I'll drive. Yeah. Like I don't give a shit, really. Yeah. He's like, no, you should be getting. Drunk too. And did you have a few scoops after? I did. Or did you? I did. Happy days. What did you have them? I squeezed the about. Or did you? At the venue, just yeah. I squeezed about eight peronis into me. Nice. And nice. a glass of champagne. Well, I'll die on that thing. next day. Yeah. Do you know what? I have a theory. I'm not a scientist. Disclaimer. But I have a theory. There's a wee cap in your body. I'm f- I am. A, certainly am a physique at the minute. You know, and like people go, oh, we still fuck. Yeah. You watch the space contos, right? <laughs> See, next time I'm doing this, we're tanned up. We're tanned up and we're wearing wee panties. Here, that's just not, just not posing pouches, just panties. Just a, a side note, Niall, if you remember this, when we, when me and Aaron do the the defat bastardization oh, yeah. reveal at Christmas, yeah. I think we should both do bodybuilder tan. Listen, I think we get some. And do, do you know when they went like uh, like they're trying not to be racist now, so they just yeah. paint paint you up to the f- bottom of the neck, so you don't do full blackface. Nah, you know what? That's they should just do the whole works. Like you know, just do the face too, because it looks weirder to have just a big big. You know, we are not racist. Face. Like, uh, yeah, what they should have done is just continue to do it and be like, oh, you know, I, I, I would, uh, I don't have a racist bone on my body. I would, mm-hmm. I didn't even think about it. But now, when you stop the paint there, yeah. you're going, I'm aware of yeah. the racial it's, implications yeah. of this. But the, I don't think that's the weirdest thing bodybuilders do. The weirdest thing I think they do is when they show off their their quads and they just pull their bags down and they're just like yeah. st- standing there with their bags around their, you know it's very the boys in the gym just with yeah. their fucking bags around their ankles like the tops off fully like take the take the trousers entirely off don't just have them <laughs> yeah. it's a very weird thing you know it's odd but I love it I love it I'm jealous but I love it big bodybuilder yeah. guy I'm big into like see, you know when you're, you're I just love a juicy set. guy yeah, the like, guy on the juice but see when you watch the videos now like you know I was enjoying the Michael Hearn videos you know the don't hurt me <sighs> guy what's he doing the oh video. yeah that guy yeah, yeah. It's a lot, Baby but then I've just been watching his actual stuff now and listening to his podcast, and he's great. He's a great guy to be inspired by. No, he apparently he's had no work done. Does is coping, you know? But he, uh, you know, scoop, but uh, spoof, scoop. What am I talking about? <laughs> Protein the brain. <laughs> but yes, yeah, good to listen. Was to it me. the Jay Cutler leg thing where we like shake his leg in there and then go, boom, oh, and his fucking yes, it was about that size. That was impressive. But I remember reading an article about Jay Cutler years ago in FHM or something, and it was just, he was talking about, he, he hadn't won Mr. Olympia at that point, and he was just talking about what his life was like. And I remember there was a photo of him holding a, a settee up and with a hoover, like underneath, doing like housework. Yeah. You know, was the, the, the shoot was like, I just live at home, and all I do is I eat and I sleep. I don't sleep through the night. I sleep like every two hours. I get up, I eat. I shit coming up to the contest. All that comes out of him holds oil. It's like, oh my God. it's just oil coming out of Mars. I was like, that's not a nice time, like, you know. It's not a nice or a healthy time. No. I actually seen him on something and he was like, you know, they're dead serious and boring. A lot, that's, the, that's the thing. See any of these, see any woman that's out there that's like, yeah. oh, it's like a guy be fucking bulky and chiseled. Yeah. You're like, you'll never see the cunt. Yeah. The guy will be getting up. You'll just have to fucking make his 14 eggs. Yeah. He'll just be farting all over the gaff and then he'll go lift weights all like, day, you, come like, back, tired, fall asleep. Like bodybuilders are like babies. Yeah. You know, I just need to eat, burp, shite, sleep, yeah. and pump, fucking pump. <laughs> but he was he was on like he was on uh, some interview I seen on TikTok or something. Your guy Jay Cutler, and he was like, I used to have um, like the there was like an egg an egg factory, and they would deliver like yeah. over a thousand eggs to my house a week, and I would buy a, a half a cow at a time, break that down, get my hamburgers, get my fillets and stuff like that. Just but jumping, like, just these like, boys jumping flat out. You, you know who I enjoy to watch a lot. You know Rich Piana. He died. Oh, yeah. Like, but like looking back at all his stories, like, he's just like, yeah, I'm on this, I'm on that, I'm on HGH. Of course. He, he was, he, but he's like, it makes my muscles bigger. What I didn't realize, it makes my fucking heart, my lungs, and my liver bigger. Fuck's sake. <laughs> and then when he died, they're like, yeah, he is his internal organs were twice the weight they should have been. <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely stacked, but fucking his heart burst at forty. I love that that meme everyone keeps doing, where it's like. Uh, this girl was like, if you had me yeah. for like eight hours a day and I couldn't say no, what would you do? Yeah. And it cuts the rich piano. He goes, yeah. it's basically an eight hour workout. <laughs> we do a workout every hour, yeah. <laughs> all day, and we completely blow the arms out. <laughs> oh, so, so, oh, but it's so funny because it's so ridiculous, you know? Yeah. But, oh, he's he's one of, the, one of the funniest. Lee Priest's another guy. Yeah. Who, and he, But like, there's some guy. Did you see when he got the eye tattoo removed? No. He had a fucking... On yeah. his eyeball. So he had like a Mike Tyson style yeah. tattoo on his, or like through his eye yeah. nearly. 
and then he got it laser removed and something horrible happened to his eyelid and it was basically like the bottom of his eyelid and then a hole where you could see his eye and then uh, like uh, open again at the top it was fucking disgusting uh, but again uh, tiny man tiny yeah. baby tiny rip baby but he's like he he's uh, he's a wee bit oh he's a wee bit old fashioned I think in some of his opinions in the yeah. world I fucking hate guys but yeah but there was a, a guy had called him out in a video about something and he was like I didn't want to bring this up but you know some of us earn money from from doing things the correct way and some of us you know I've seen the videos <laughs> sucking dick <I> mean, <laughs> If that's your choice, work away, but it's not for me. It's disgusting for the kids to see that sort of pornography. <laughs> disgusting. Eat more eggs and lift more weights. Yeah. Keep, keep the dicks away. Keep the dicks away. <laughs> I wonder then, was he talking you know, about the video with your guy Kai Green, who would just like fuck a watermelon for someone? Yeah. That was early, early like OnlyFans, like custom videos. Yeah, Kai, so, Kai Green's an odd dude. So people are like, <laughs> I want to see this jacked guy <laughs> fuck a watermelon. He's like, yeah, bitch. <laughs> but he was one of the fuck it. Because like, he, they, he would like, you know when to do the off I didn't expect this chat to go deep in no, the bodybuilding. It was no, great. Yeah, we're loving, loving it. But Kai, Kai Green doing all like the leather and the fucking spikes and all. And all he does is just robot. Pop, yeah. Body pops with the wee mask on <laughs> and then fucks him. <laughs> <coughs> oh man, do you ever know your man Cali Muscle was an internet guy for a while? He was like this big jack guy, he was in prison and he came out. And now, lately, he went to the hospital and they're like, Yeah, you're again, your heart's going to burst, man. So he's lost all his muscle, all his. And now he's saying, Just eat watermelon, you know. So, not don't fuck it, eat it, don't get it from you Guy Greens. Yeah, don't buy from Guy Greens. <laughs> like, well, yeah, well, when you cut your melons, Kai. I don't know if I've had a big, big enough dick to fuck a watermelon. Yeah. It would look no. silly. But I, I, too much weight. Oh, but he, I mean, does he cut a hole in it or does he fuck the hole through? Because that's impressive. <laughs> it would be You're impressive. fucking a hole through the skin of a watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> Just bursting through. Oh, I'd be painful. You need one of those milking tables to train to get your fucking yeah. dick and shape. To... Fucks to the table as well. Yeah. <laughs> I knew I was procrastinating too much whenever I was watching a rich piano vlog one day. Yeah. And oh. he was like, I basically make, you, you know, if you, if you're, you know, if you got like a sachet of Quaker's oats to make yes. in a cup, uh, you know, I think it's like, how many grams is it? Like 20 or 30 or something? Yeah. And those, and those are things, yeah, it'd be about 30 grams. And then he's, that. he's out there just like, I'm having 480 grams of yeah. oatmeal. And then he just, I, I was watching him in real time, just eat it out of a fucking bucket. Yeah. And I was like, what am I doing? Yeah. The guys just, and like, you know, these boys are like, they're not like sitting down, like, you know, yeah. knife and fork, like, hmm. They're just like, like fueling their body. Yeah, so this guy's just like, but, and I was just like, I should probably do some work. But I, I saw, I think, similar sort of thing with him. And he just, he goes, eating isn't fun for me. Yeah. It's a necessity. Um, yeah. Oh, piano. Like, what? A, and it's a shame now that he's dead. Because I would like more of that content to be yeah. coming out. The guy, one of the few guys, looked oh. like his face did steroids. Before, I, I, when I was in the Rich Piano, in the Rich Piano wormhole, uh, is there was an interview with his his wife or girlfriend or whatever, and the the, the they'd said that when they found his body, there was like lines of white powder, and they were like, oh, and he's been on the fucking snifter, hasn't he? And she goes, nah, he used to snort pre workout. <laughs> I like got fucking ridiculous. Do you get that? You go, oh, that's, oh yeah. Oh, the mouth don't start that shit. Have you ever had pre workout? Oh, it's not good for me, mate. Nah. Like, I take it and I just feel like I'm going to have a heart attack. <laughs> like full palpitations. Like the only time I've had palpitations like that, I drank two bottles of Buckfast once and I was like, ah, no, not for me. Yeah. Not for me. I only did it once, Baxon, when it was, there was like pre workout in a BCAA, which I didn't mm. even know what it was. Someone told me to take it. Yeah, but then apparently they're spoofs now too, they say. I don't know. I I was so railed out on fucking caffeine that it was like yeah. I was like cold. See, so you're you're a big caffeine guy like myself. So if you're taking uh, like I I taken these fat burners before, but they're just high in caffeine. So add that on top of the coffee and the other shit. You take that, you're like the full jitters. Not a good time. You're on like. the fat burners. Yeah, I, well, I was like, but then the, what do you call them? Thermoball I used maxi muscle. Give myself a, a pile but of them. They were uh, they they worked. See when I was when I was in school, I took them playing rugby. I got a big injury in my upper, lower sixth year. Um, and let's just say, Daddy got husky. Yeah. You know? So yeah, I had to cut down for to play rugby again for the upper sixth year. So popped them in the summer and did a job. But then when I, when I took them a couple of years ago, I thought my heart was going to burst. I'm like, nah. I've, at the anatomically, I've changed. Jesus Christ. So, yeah, I'm not gonna do that anymore. But all natural ingredients. So if you <laughs> cut down the coffees and the green teas and shit, all natural yeah. ingredients. Cocaine's kind of natural. Yeah, cocaine's a hell of a drug. I loved all those like pre-workouts that they they'll be out for like a month and then a month later they'll be like, yeah, there's actually speed in this, so yeah. we're not allowed to do this anymore. 
But yeah, I, I just because you know, I think the mental thing is when you're trying to lose a bit of weight is you go either right on the like a strict diet or anything else. It's like all you really need to do is eat a bit less of the shit and work out a bit more and like eat eat as clean as you can. Like, see, yeah. you're all trying to eat the fucking rice and the vegetables and you yeah. take a pre workout, post workout, creatine. That's the, and I'm sure I've been trying to try to you know me and McCann are in this competition at the yeah. moment. And the, the only conclusion I can come to is just eat less. And I, I don't mean like less food per sitting. I mean like uh-huh. just less times. Yeah. I was chatting to you know, Greg Wallace from MasterChef. Yeah. I was chatting to him. And he was saying that he has lost a little weight. You, from... t- you tell me you've got a contact with the, the mm-hmm. Gregster? Yeah. Yeah. The interview him. Whatever. Where'd you interview him? The radio? The radio, yeah. So, and he you was. Dirty can. But he wanted. It was he, should do, he should do an X rated. Oh yeah, food. Uh, oh yeah. my god, it'd be amazing. Uh, it would pop. He should do mukbangs where he's just like, oh my god, you do. I'm like, fucking stiff. But he, uh, he it was weird because I was giving a brief before you did. This meringue isn't the only stiff peak in this room. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> but he, uh, I, I was given like a, a sting about what he wants to talk about. I was like, wait, this is what you've done the remote. And it was, uh, he it literally just his website. I was like, it's a weird thing. But then the website was about him losing all his weight and like yeah. diet tips and all that sort of shit. And have you seen him recently? Yeah, he's jacked. He is jacked. And his whole big thing, he was like, all I'm trying to say to people is eat three big healthy meals a day and train. Yeah. And that's, that's the gist of it. But we got into it and we were ended up, ch- I could have chatted to him for hours. He's great, you know. But it was, was, just, was he live or was he? He was on a via Zoom. Yeah. So like they're like, we've got what we need. And I'm like, I know, but I need the motivation to yeah. not be such a big fat shite. So it's good to chat to him. And it was, but also, was doesn't he have a wife that's about 30 years younger than him? Yeah, that, that's part of it. That'll yeah. do it to you. You yeah, know, it's like, I need the, you get the new hot check. You don't want to be like, uh, yeah, the fat old dad. But then the, 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 his son, he's, I think, I think about like Matilda Eddie's age sort of thing. And he's like, yeah, I need to be fitter for this yeah. fucking bundle of non stop, constant energy here. This little fucking juggernaut that doesn't leave me alone all day. Kids are mental. Yeah. Like you know it, what? In fact, speaking of pre-workout, that's when you should take a pre-workout when your kids go to bed. When they go to bed for the day, bum a pre-workout and enjoy the rest of the day. No, I know? need to, I, I need mine at about four. Yeah. Because there's a, there's a time during the day where Eddie will be going nuts and I'll be like, this is, I need something to get me through right now. Yeah. Because once they go to bed, there's a bit of relief. You're like, ah, oh, fucking chill out. But, Watch some, but sometimes I find when I put them, like, at the minute we'll put the way you want down first and then you read Holly a book. And she likes to have a wee story and then she likes to have a snuggle afterwards, just a wee chat. So then whenever you get all cuddled in bed and you put her to bed, you're like, that's quite nice in there. Yeah. I just go to, you know, and then you're like, nah, I need to get up and fucking eat some dinner because of another fucking seven or eight thousand calories to get in there you know, <laughs> for the day. <laughs> before I'm going fucking, Whoa. It's basically an eight hour workout. <laughs> <laughs> but, but it's hard sometimes to get up and, and do anything meaningful because again, once the kids go to bed, no, it's just life fucking sucks. <laughs> <laughs> when the kids go to bed, you either go out and do a gig or you have to go and then fucking prepare for the same shite again tomorrow. Do you know, know what the real the real fucking uh, supplement I would take is just like a limitless, you know, don't need to sleep. Yeah. I know that's probably cocaine or something, yeah. but like, see if, you know, like, there's just certain things that you can't do in the middle of the night, which is when I'm free. Yeah. You know, like, Warren's like, did you pay that bill? Did you phone nice people? Did you do whatever? And yeah. like, if it, listen, if I can't do it after work, at yeah. half eleven at night, yeah, I'm not getting it done. See, uh, that that's the hard thing is trying to get the shit that you need done done in it because like you're you're never going to get it all done ever. And sometimes I just I need to go to bed here because their lunch boxes are ready, the fucking clothes are washed, they're dry, dogs walk, and then there's always one thing. Did you phone that mechanic about the oil light? For fuck's sake, no, no, I haven't. And now to say that, I have to, because our oil light keeps coming on too quickly. So there's a wee leak somewhere. Uh, I was going to say, you just don't put oil in it. I'm, I'm, oh, I, I, I'm, listen, I'm more looped up than Rich Piano on stage, like, you know, yeah. when it comes to the oil in the car. But it was, uh, it just keeps, like, the fucking cut a wee wire or something when they were doing the service, didn't they? You fucking idiot. Eddie, Eddie, has, a, Eddie has a cold at the minute, right? And the, the amount of energy kids have when they're sick doesn't go away. No, he just can conti- He just battles through the sickness, so he's running around like, <coughs> you know, like kids need to look at you when they're coughing to be yeah. like, make sure I'm okay. So they're like, yeah. <laughs> and then you're like, it's all right, bud. And then he just fucking he's. We did this thing where we got a new mattress recently, mm. and we put the mattress on the floor. Yes, and it's supposed it should have been moved five weeks ago, uh-huh. but it's he loves it. It's just his. He jumps from the bed to the floor, and it's in oh, our bedroom. Fun. We're like, we should we need to get rid of this. Yeah, and I'm like, I don't know if I can. Yeah, because the house is fucking uh, but in bits. You, but he, anyway, he, sorry, he bounced on it yeah. with the cold the other day till he just boked. 
cough that hard he bugged. They just don't know. There's no, they've just no ability to know what what they're doing. It's ridiculous, do they? Like not a clue. Idiots. Not a clue. They are so stupid. Stupid. Just <laughs> like I said to Matilda, stop running with, with your. She's had a tablet. And I was like running, looking at her tablet. I was like, don't do that. Or you fall. Flatline the way of the car this morning. Mm. Hands cut. Everything cried. I'm like, well, I did tell you. Yeah. You know, I'll harden you a bit. What? Keep your fucking eyes open. No, but and you feel bad when they're sore and crying. All like, fuck. One goes a hug. But don't do that again. I go on, you can't. You know, um, we yeah. we have a very special relationship on the internet with protein. All right, with protein, yeah. yeah. The full, uh, <laughs> yeah, with pre- DJ Khaled there. Yeah. Uh-huh. Protein. Oh, DJ Khaled. Why have you not lost weight? I never lose. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead, Khalid, you big fucking. I know that guy was on the fucking cross trainer every day for an yeah. hour and just didn't lose anything. <laughs> no, but then he's probably eating. Yeah, like he's a got bank, chef like, in the house. Like, yeah, like Henri Le Wheat. Yeah. Flat out, just fucking banquets every day. He fucking, uh, that clip of him eating the burger. Oh. And he's like, honestly, honestly, on oh God, I could eat five of these. And the trainer's out there, and he's like, well, let me just, uh, one thing, and he goes, I'm not going to a protein. <laughs> Guy's out of his mind. What is this? And the girl, t- the chef tells him what it is, and he's like, do you ever play rugby? <laughs> he's, he's an old man. Isn't Billionaire, it? probably. Yeah. Absolute lunatic. But uh, he's tremendous. Can you do the dance moves? Oh yeah, I actually put a video up. Oh, off, you did. Uh, you met a year or two ago. Yeah. Just me copying his moves in the garden. I mean, what was funny about that again? I was doing that. I was like, no one can see me. He looked up, there was Jane fucking <laughs> opening the curtains. Like ah, she just can fucking. See it. Oh no, flicking her bean in. Fucking hell. Oh, we've got new terminology as well. Oh, for like if you're bean. a fella, if you're like pushing or pulling one off, mm-hmm. girls put just push one in. Oh, push one. Uh, that yeah. Jane's pushing one in. She's, oh. Talking to bucket she, list, DJ Khaled style, back of a Rolls Royce. Huh. You know the Rolls Royce has curtains? Yeah. Or the Maybach or whatever it is. Roof down, silk shirt open. Curtains Just, closed? <laughs> yeah, curtains closed. Just gazing out the window. Ah, oh, that's a nice Flying thing. through Tyrone. <laughs> <laughs> Smell a cow shit wafting into the Rolls. You know what? That That's something, you know, I'd love to get to the point in life, speaking of bucket list things, we're at a Sunday car. You know, like an old man has a son, he only takes out on Sunday. Yeah. So he's soft top and he just goes to get his paper and drives along the sea. I have a Sunday car where I take it out one one Sunday a year when I have actually booked an MOT for the car uh-huh. and then realize there's too many things wrong with it and don't bother taking it to the MOT yeah. and then it waits for another year till another Sunday. And what is it? It's an old Mercedes. Listen, get it, get her fucking, get her, get her topped up. Get, get her, her, her topped up. Get her in the rip. Enjoy. Full overhaul. No, I was going to yeah. say, we, we have a special relationship Online, where we send almost exclusively homoerotic material. Who else? Yeah, yeah, we do. It's a, it's a lot of fun. But the the problem is, you have to have some for me. No, well, that's what I'm saying. Like the other day, you know, like the the internet, <laughs> the internet starts to catch on to what what you're into. <laughs> so I sent you that that account called Athletes Jock Straps. <laughs> yeah, that was very enjoyable. Which was just, which is just <laughs> fucking like, <laughs> like I do you know, do you know what I think that came off the back of? There was on my suggested there was a page where it was like slow-mo nice footage of like matadors <laughs> like actual spanish like yeah guys with the fucking shit but they obviously wear really tight pants so every single one of them has the junk packed down one side the prince albert tight tight yeah and yeah. like uh, these someone's filming it being like mm, we tight ass spanish boys the but then one? it's but then it's served me up uh the the athletes Athletes jock straps, um, oh, very nice. Which I sent to you, which is basically just athletes uh, just walking around with tight pants on, with big pieces. Why well, I want to bring anything up now? But yeah, that was, was one. I, you know, the way, stuff like that. You know, this guy's yeah. just got a full pack of a pack of a ham down his side. But you know, why there was those things. Now I remember that that one I th- said the other day. I really enjoyed when it's like if you squint, you can see things, and like you know, in, yeah. Like and it was your man sitting inside of the bed with a big dick. <laughs> Oh, I love that. That brought me a lot of joy the other day. Sitting in my house going, I know he's going to love this one. <laughs> he's dead, isn't he? Well, I mean, you would be. I think on your mum's house, they did a big deep dive into who the guy was and they found out who he was. Well, he's dead? Yeah. Fuck me. Are both my idols dead? Him and Rich Piano? I mean, Terrible. people are people are fucking, I know, people are, you know, trying all sorts of things to, you know, get famous or get, get some sort of longevity or legacy. Mm-hmm. That that guy just sat at the edge of a bed with his wab out, yeah. <laughs> and he he'll go down in history. Yeah. Oh, fuck, I wouldn't like to go down in him, like Jesus Christ. That's that's your next poster, by the yeah. way. Oh. 
<laughs> you have to do that. Yeah. Just you fucking hunched over the side of a bed. Just like that. <laughs> hold it. Like, you know, obviously just you can't, can't get, put your cock on a poster, but like well, get something. Guess, just just hold a microphone. Big fat microphone. <laughs> get dirty, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> just hanging out like that. <laughs> you know what? That'd be a fun thing to do. Just recreate great memes for posters. Get a load of us together and do that. That'd be classic. Oh, yeah. Do that one. You know, your guy with the vein is hit. Yeah. Him. Just the, all the classics. That, like, stalker girlfriend. You know? Yeah. Fuck around, find out. That yeah. Guy. Oh, I, the guy who... How much, how much would you pay me to call my next year's tour? Fuck around, find out. I mean, I'd love that. Just do it. That'd be great. Call and get us. Fuck around, find out. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would love that. I was going to call it worst behavior. Worst behavior? Yeah. What would you do that would be... I would just thing. recreate the Drake front cover. Yes. Where the blue background was a sideways face and then just my fucking roll of Cumberland sausages <laughs> in the back of my head. Back uh, of my head looks like Paul Senna's neck. <laughs> Senna man, I'll cut him. <laughs> yeah, oh, but it's accurate. But, uh, <laughs> but the only thing is people need to know what the poster is. Because I did my last poster. I was like, ah, they'll know, they'll know what Sam Smith. No cunt did. Yeah, people Don't were just you? like, Dave's on one here. Yeah, they're like, why is Dave wearing a dress? I was like, no, I was, I was it's a... You know, and then it's like there's nothing about Sam Smith the show. I'm like, I know, I just like the artwork, you know. And yeah, you're gonna have to go full red. You know, he did like the red table around his dinner. Yeah, I'm gonna have to just do that. <laughs> the best Sam Smith I seen was when he was just like on holiday, and he just dressed like everybody's fucking auntie on holiday. Yeah, he had like cut off jean shorts and a wee top with a wee knot tied yes. in it like this here, That's and he just looked like someone's fat auntie. Yeah, but uh, I mean, you know what? He's just living his best life, isn't he? He is, isn't he? One of my favourite things has happened, has happened this week was uh, see Taylor Swift's going out with your guy. The NFL player? Yeah, what's his name? Kelsey. I, I don't know his name. I just know if he's a footballer. Footballer. Yeah. Footballer. A gritter on. Yeah. And then people are... People are I have a gritter on there. And it? then people are going like, uh, you know, girls are getting into football now. Like, you know. Uh, yeah. If you see that t-shirt, it says like Taylor Swift's boyfriend's team. Uh, uh-huh. <laughs> That's... The, the love of Taylor Swift is mental. It's crazy. Like I don't know any Taylor Swift songs. What's a Taylor Swift song? Love Story. What's that go like? It's a love story. Ba, 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 da. And then Bad Blood, to be fair, that's good. We got bad yeah, blood. Yeah, I've heard that. Shake it off. Shake, Shake it, it, off. it off. I mean, a lot of bangers. From okay. T, from t- Swizzy. Oh, shit. I think Swizzy? Popping off over there. Swizzy. T Swizzy. <laughs> yeah, you know, Tay Tay's got some bangers, but... To go to a gig, and I know our shows are like a fucking rich piano arm workout. They're about yeah. nine hours long, but she, like the people are going and wearing like nappies to go to see her concert so they don't have to go to the That's toilet. That's right. It's like, guys, go for a piss. Yeah. I mean, is it going, like, go, she's a couple of shitters. Like she's a few fillers off the album. Go and take a dump when she's doing that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Go and get your pints in. Don't just be like sitting in a concert and going, looking around to your missus. I know. Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the bad blood you were it's the bad skating, oh, it must stink at the front yeah. row of a fucking Taylor Swift because it smells like an old people's home because <laughs> there's bound to be someone just r- rifling bounties under their nappy you know? oh, but it's like just stop I would I'd rip the, uh, the arse I know, you, know, you know what now in fairness I think the idea like a, a nappy would be fun for the, the mid shit but then as soon as you've done the shit you'd be like ah fuck she just gone to the ball for that you know the nice warm feeling but then it gets cold the nice warm feeling. Yeah, that's kind of nice. I, I think it'd be stingy. You know, yeah. standing around your own pish all day. Yeah, because you ever see like your like Eddie's bum when you know, he's in nappies or something, and Too if much. you just hadn't seen the shit for a bit, and then you take it off, you're like, oh fuck, that's. He enjoys so showing me his yeah. anus now. You know, he's, that's his new trick. He's like, I got that. Eh? It's like having a wee monkey around the house. Yeah. He's like, ah, I got <laughs> No, well, like, I don't know where Matilda ta- learned it, but I think I t- told her to for banter. I was like, here, go and shake your bum at your mum. So now she'll just, any time you're getting ready for the bath or something, she'll just have her gear off. She'll walk on in and go, eh, like that, do you? Yeah, but she's now at that age where she's like, sticking her finger up her bum long, going, what's that now? I'm like, I don't <sighs> Stinking. Stink, kids, stink. They do stink. stink. We have a, we try not to get Eddie, like if we go up to the bathroom upstairs uh-huh. and he shits, you clean him up pre shower and they just yeah. take off running naked and just jump on the bed and all. And you're like, yeah. then you get in the bed later, pull a duvet over and you're like, Oh yeah, smell of shit. You just smell. You just you have to pick them up for some reason. A bit yeah. of shit in the arm. Oh, I was. I had shitty a, arm. I had a thing in my arm. I was like, 
what is that? I guess, you know, you can catch a smell. And I was like, what is that? me. I smelled my arm. It was just her sweaty wee arse. Where I'd been carrying her into the bath and it's her disgusting. wee bare arse is in my forearms. I mean, one of, the, one of the most depraved things I've ever heard is when you just picked a thing off the ground thinking it was a black cur- or a black, or yeah, what was black it? A blueberry? Rooms. Yeah, blueberry and a bit of shit. Like, yeah. Get your fucking yeah. label. Like, uh, you know when you're just in the uh, First of all, yeah. who the fuck... <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck is eating a loose blueberry on the ground and you're just like changing a nappy no, and go, oh, piece of candy. It wasn't, even, like, it wasn't even on the ground. It was on a fu- like the fucking the island in the kitchen where I was changing nappy. Just, and I was putting br- blueberries in them my fucking breakfast. <laughs> and I just went, I'll do meat. Oh, I'm like, oh no, that's not blueberry. You fucking, that's a poo-berry right there. Stay I, <laughs> I'd have fucking cut my tongue out. Like, oh no, it wasn't. Did you good. bite down on it? Oh yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's what made me go. And believe it or not, the shite doesn't taste good. Like, no, there's no, oh, no, there's, there's no, there's no redeeming factor to it. It wasn't nice. Do you know what? That would ruin blueberries for me for life. Even though yeah. it wasn't a blueberry, I I'd be about, second guessing every blueberry. Yeah, but, like, but <laughs> now, now I do, I do, I I, mean, I do, I test them. I know what to do now. I, I put them in the pan as well, I'm frying them a wee bit before I put them in, just to make sure I kill all the germs in you case, get, in case it is shite again. You know. Yeah, that's your new fucking rule at home. Dave, don't be eating any. Oh, Dave, no. Don't be eating any loose food stuffs. Because that was the thing. Oh, a minstrel? About somebody, oh, shite again. We're talking about somebody like who, who would even eat shite, Catherine was saying. Like, no one even eat. And she goes, well, apart from you. And I'm like, hold on, let me stop you. I don't eat. Like, I don't willingly and no one eat What was the conversation shite. we were talking about people eating shite? Because I don't know. It's very fucking talk. I think, you know, one of those ones. Well, do you reckon if you, if you gave a shite the... Gordon Ramsay, you could cook it and make it taste good. You know, one of those stupid conversations. She's like, nobody, no one, you can never make shite taste good. Like, nobody would eat shite. I'm like, oh, me? But I told you about a time that I... Welcome uh, back to <clears> my <throat> shite Wellington master, no. master class. A sh- that would be the thing I'd imagine I'm cooking, a shite Wellington. Yeah. You, you just, yeah, do the works. But the it just garlic. looks like his other beef Wellington, only it's about that long. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's all Papers fucking, at the end. All crisscross, though. <laughs> Roll uh, it up and fucking cling oh, film. Oh, man. Roll up your shite. Hell. But... And I wonder if they go like this, <clears throat> that, that if you touch that, feels that that's a well done shite. Yeah. I told you about the time that I, I just licked some adult shite, didn't I? I was just fucking stinking. Went in to do it. it was, How are you still alive? I, I don't know. And Rich Piano's dead. I know. I, I, it's, it's not fair. But I was doing, I, I think I've told this story before. I went in to do a podcast. And do you remember our old studio we were in? It was like around the back in Hollywood, up the fucking back of these back steps and all horrible. Went in, I was I'd go around, and I was like, who fuck's walking shite through his fucking studio? Dirty bastards. Oh, fucking shite everywhere. And then Ben was like, Dave, look at your foot. And there's literally a lump of shite stuck to the bottom of my foot. And I was just walking all around. So we cleared it all up and all that was grand. <clears throat> and then I went and did the podcast. I had a coffee as well. So just a, as an Americano. And then I was, I don't know what, why, but it looked, and I was a wee bit, it looked like the coffee got on my hand. And I was about to record. So I'm like, you know what? I'll just lick that off here. I looked and I was like, I know what taste. That's not coffee. It's shite again. So Dude. I like that, and I was like, it's fucking stinking. I've like dog shit, right? So on the way out, I was raging. I'm like, I'm not standing in this dog shit anymore. And I went out and put the phone light on, and there was a shit, just big fucking shit with my big footprint through it. But it had a bog roll beside it and scrunched up toilet roll. So obviously, some dirty bastard gone around the back, done a shite, wiped their arse, left it. I'd stepped in it and licked it. It was horrible. Horrible. <laughs> So, you fucking yeah. mess. I don't know anyone no, that's eaten no. as much shit no, listen, in their lifetime. Both literally and on stage. <laughs> like, there's a guy that eats shit. I think, you, I think you just have an issue. Of, uh, yeah. maybe, maybe don't be licking and eating anything, knocking about. Do you know what? I'm, I'm like my granny. I have a strong constitution. You know, I'll be oh, right. you'll get nothing? No, I'll be fine. COVID? Yeah. COVID? Yeah. Tapeworms? Oh. Just, they'll fucking just die in your body. <laughs> just inside. But tell you what doesn't die. Hot sauce. I had some hot sauce last night and passed through me this morning. And I knew about it. Yeah, I knew a point. I was like, well, probably had that too. Yeah, bring me the suit. I was like, wonders yeah. it still hot. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, you know what? Listen, it's been like you know people get the re the re coins and all, and they go to AA. Yeah. Like, it's been five years since I've eaten shite. Like, so <laughs> shite doing, free. For yeah, I'm shite free free for five years. <laughs> Just AA. Yeah, but you know what? The only My problem name's Dave is, and I haven't eaten shit in five years. <laughs> the thing about it's that one day at a time, man. But if somebody presents me with a really fucking, I can all be tempted. <laughs> oh, I mean, I don't know. In, when you're a shite eater, you can only go so far. <laughs> don't know if a shite Wellington fell on their plate. Uh, say, you, know. Who knows? Do you need to get out of here? I mean, I don't even know what time it is. It's a quarter probably. before. Oh, yes, it do. Because it does. We're, we're getting a big delivery. Big. Of shite. <laughs> <laughs> for my dinner. Like, fucking macro delivery of skate coming to the house at four o'clock. <laughs> Get back for it. Uh, Hello, fresh. There you go. <laughs> Refrigerated <laughs> box full of shit. 
Ah, and you open up the instruction book and it's just put in mouth. Yeah, <laughs> put in mouth. Don't question, put in mouth. I oh, know. <laughs> Don't look or think, just put it in your mouth. Oh, yeah. So, oh. Yeah. listen, pleasure. Thanks for having me. No Love worries. Fun. Are you doing it? What are you doing? Where are you doing your, your big gig? I'm doing the wall garden on the wall garden. I've done the wall garden. No. The, I'm doing the court house on the 7th of December. 7th of December. Oh, yeah. I get an old ticket for that. I'm on tour as well. I'm going to be in London. Uh, probably oh, several, really? several days after you hear this podcast. Trying so. to get that food, yeah? Yeah, get, get that food. Yeah. What about on Monday? We got the, where, where <laughs> you playing? Where's the show, bruv? Leicester Square Theatre. Leicester Square Theatre. Yeah. Yeah, for now, it's the theatre. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Listen, I've got some new merch coming out. It's just going to be shit and you can just eat it. Yeah. yeah it's going to be a nice time. I'm gonna, I'm, maybe I should get that t-shirt. I'm a shit eater. Just get those out. Buy them. Yeah. Merch. Yeah. Nice. Right, we'll get out of here. Shice. Cheers, David. Thank you very much, Colin. Thank you very much, Dave. Thank you very much. Protein. Oh, pre- protein. Protein. Let's go. Let's, okay. Let's go. Cheers, guys. See you later. Bye. All the oh, best. I really enjoyed that. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, <laughs>